hello guys hope all is well in this video we will learn how to scrape data from a page which adds new product or new data on scrolling it so let me show you currently on this page it has only three products when i scroll now it's add three more so when i scroll again it's add three more so this is our goal in this video to scrape this type of web pages so for this first we have to find the uh, logic behind this that how this scrolling work so for this our logic is like this so initially when we visit this patch so the scroll bar is here when I scroll so now it is here so how we will find that our scroll bar is here and no need to scroll it's more it's mean that the all products are loaded on this page so our logic is first we find the position of here the initial mean the last so this is the logic let me explain it so top mean the vba label for go to statement and this is the go to statement and our logic is here inside this so initially the scroll bar is here so first we find the position of this so this statement last h mean the last height which is this so it is saved on this variable then driver that execute script will scroll it like this and then weights the weight is to load the new data if we remove this so the script will not work very well because on scrolling it takes a little bit time so for make sure that everything is correct so that's why i add driver dot weight two seconds two thousand mean two seconds and then again this new height it's mean after scrolling the new height will be saved this so when i scroll it like initially it is here when i scroll initially it is here so it height is 10 when i scroll it now it is let's suppose uh, 10 plus 5 15 when i scroll it again now it is 15 15 plus 5 20 and so on so now you can see that it is added so a stage will come where the last height i mean that it will not scroll more so the last height and the new height will be same so in that case if these are same so this will be false and we are here we are here instead of going again top so that is the logic so let me copy it Control a Control c and pass it in this structure this is the default structure that i showed in the beginning so our logic will be applied here inside so i am pasting it now it is done so after it's reached the position we are no scroll needed so now we are interested to scrape the name and the price so for this we have to find the x path so press F12 from the keyboard and you will see this window then select this and click on this so you can see here inside div now it is highlighted we can find both the name and the price so for writing the xpath expression press ctrl F you will see this and for writing the xpath expression the sign text is double slash the name is div the attribute is class and its value is caption so now it shows 15 and currently on this page 1 2 3 4 5 and so we write it correctly so inside this we can find the name and price both so let me copy this control a control c 
and for multiple items we apply loops of for each ELE and driver dot driver dot find elements by X path next ELE and paste it here the X path like this and we are interested to save that uh, this so for finding the empty row let me copy the port for saving time control c and pass it inside the loop each one so now this will save the row position which is empty currently row 2 so for this now sheets sheet 1 that cells e row column 1 in column 1 we will save the name so come here and click on this option for name it is inside h4 so accessing the child elements we place here single slash and then the name h4 so it shows sturdy because inside each div two h4 uses one for the price and one for the name so 15 multiplied to 30 that's why so we can access it separately the first one represent by index when we put one 15 so it's mean the prices when i replace one by two so it's mean the name so we will now use this inside the loop to accessing so for this e l e and now i use find element because inside each div only one name so not we cannot use elements here we use element element by x path and then text so here i will for accessing the child element inside vba using selenium the syntax is like this dot double slash then the name of element h4 and then the to represent the name here you can see to to represent the name so that's why i read to just copy this control c and paste it again and here remove this by two so it's mean column two and here one it's mean the price so our code is now done so now let's run the code and see what happened now you can see that the code will first scroll the page until it's reached its last position and then now you can see that it is scrolling automatically So we have to wait for this. I think there are more than 100 products on each scroll. It's load three products. So it takes up to two to three minutes. So we have to wait for this. And the core is in running condition. You can see here that the scroll ups and down.
now it is done so now it is saving the data here you can see now after one minute or half minute it's closed the chrome browser automatically now it's mean done and here is our data so let me check how many products so there are total 117 products so this is our goal in this video and we get it successfully so if you have any question kindly share it i will update you in comment section thanks for watching the video